اخترت رجل بصوت وخيل فما Imagine the world's best sermon given by the world's best person. A final message to humanity meant to be shared to men and women like you and me. His last bit of advice that changed billions of lives. All he's ever wanted was for us to enter paradise. Facing his followers, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam said these wise words. This is simpler summarized version of this very famous sermon. Oh people here, lend me an attentive ear, for I fear that I will not be with you this next coming year. Listen with great care and spread this message to people everywhere. Take this information and bring it to all the world's nations. This part of the world during this time of the year is sacred and blessed. Same goes for the property of every Muslim. Treat it as a trust that you must return and protect. Don't hurt or do evil, but do good to the people. Don't allow any fitna to come in between you. Remember, it is to Allah Azza wa Jal that you will return and be judged with the deeds that you've all have earned. Allah has forbidden usury, as in interest received or paid. Anything in excess, consider it waived, or as Allah says, consider war waged. Beware of the devil. He's lost hope in leading you astray with big things. So we'll try to make you practice the small sins step by step until you reach all things. Husbands and wives, be good to one another. Be mindful of each other's rights. Husbands, treat your wives well for they are your best companions in this life. Wives, don't befriend whomever your husband disapproves or dislikes. Oh mankind, be sincere in your worship to Allah. Hasten and be serious when it comes to Salah. Fast in Ramadan, give part of your wealth in charity. Go for Hajj if it does not cause financial harm to you or your family. All of mankind is from Adam and Eve. Your skin color doesn't make you better or worse. Remember, the first recorded racist was and still is cursed. Your piety and deeds are what makes you superior, but only Allah knows this, since they're all hidden in the interior. Remember, you will be questioned concerning your deeds, so please do not stray from the path of Islam after I leave. Oh people, there will be no prophets or messengers after I'm gone. Any new faith or practice after Islam will surely be wrong. Oh people, hold on to the Quran and to my example, which are perfect in every single way. Cling on to these two and you will never go astray. Being a Muslim, it's not just a Monday or Friday weekends off, it's every single day. Oh people, pass on this message throughout all the lands. May the last one to hear it truly be able to understand. Ya Allah, be my witness that I've conveyed the message of Islam. And we as Muslims, we need to obey our orders, make Islam reach beyond our borders, and realize why we pray shoulder to shoulder. Jazakum Allah